All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. <clears throat> this hour, we are going to be uh, uh, practicing um, some functional English, okay, words, phrases, things like that. And our topic for this hour is making excuses. Yesterday, we talked about uh, asking for help, okay, and some phrases and words and things like that that we could use. Um, this hour, Okay, we'll be uh, uh, talking about the other side of it, all right? If you don't want to help or if you don't want to go and do something, okay, we'll uh, make an excuse, all right? Or uh, tell someone a reason why why we can't do something, okay? So uh, that's, uh, that's going to be the main focus of, uh, of the class this hour, okay? The uh, link... The link is in the chat box, okay? So uh, go ahead and open that up. Uh, I do recommend having the having the link open on your own computer, just in case I have uh, internet problems, or if you do, uh, you'll be able to um, uh, get to the uh, get to the uh, um, to the to the link to the page and, and see that without any issues or without relying on uh, on what you're seeing on my screen, okay? So let's uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Uh, hi there, Stephen. Welcome back. How you doing? Okay. How about uh, Dua? Dua, can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Maybe the voice is breaking, but I can hear. How are you, sir? I I'm doing great. Uh, is my voice breaking up? Can you guys hear me clearly? Mm. No. Is, is my okay? My voice is clear. Okay, just just wondering. Last night I was having troubles with my internet, but uh, yeah, Dua, I can hear you just fine, just fine. Okay, yeah, it's my it's my problem here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I, uh, I hear you uh, just nice and clear. Okay. Uh, how about uh, Laszlo? How you doing, Laszlo? Hi, Chad. Hi, Chad. I fine. Thank you. And you? Great. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, let's go to. To uh, Stephen, how you doing, Stephen? Can you hear? Can you uh, hear yep. Me? Yeah, I can hear you. It's uh, breaking up just a little bit, but yes, I definitely can hear you. Okay. Uh, yeah, how about the intern. Ah, okay. Yeah, Stephen, what uh, what internet do you have in your house? What company do you guys use? Um, the the easy. Easy. Easy is the name of the company. Oh, Ice. Easy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right. <clears throat> Very good. Very good. Thank you. Let's go to uh, um, uh, Andrea. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Good to, good to have you in class. And how about Amparo? Welcome back. Thank you. All right, fabulous, you guys. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, and get started. Flip this on, get a little brighter in here. Um, all right. Okay, so the link is in the chat box. Uh, please open that up. Okay, and we are going to start off over on the left hand side um, with uh, with actually, um, yeah. So. I want to go through and uh, and talk about um, situations when when we would make excuses. Okay, when when is a situation class when we might need to use an excuse when we don't want to do something? When is a situation? We How about? Okay. All right. So if you're busy, but what um, um, what kind of um, what kind of situation may you may might someone ask ask you to go help? Or, okay, you may be busy. You may be doing something. Okay. So um, what? Uh, so that would be that would be a reason. Okay. Uh, but what? Um, so yeah, we have busy. Okay. What uh, what other excuses or other 
other reasons would you have to not do something? You don't want to do it. <laughs> okay, you just don't want to. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so or, I don't. I just don't want to do it. Or maybe if uh, a girl invite me to hang uh, out with her, um, I mm -hmm. could say that sorry, I have a girlfriend or something like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if you don't really like the girl, okay, you could say now. I already have a girlfriend, okay? So, in a, uh, uh, going and hanging out with someone. Okay, going and hanging out with someone, you could then, you know, come up with an, an excuse not to do so, okay? Mm -hmm. What other uh, excuses uh, might we have um, to, uh, to not be able to do something? What's that? When you're sick. Okay, uh, sickness. Okay, you may be sick. How about if you're oh, tired? Tired. Okay, so maybe you don't you don't feel like going out and doing something. You may be tired. Okay. All right. Yeah. So these are these are different types of of excuses or situations that uh, that would make us you know. Not want to go do something. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's take a look at uh, some of the uh, examples that they give us. They give us here in this uh, on this sheet. Um, starting off with Amparo and Andrea. Let me have you guys read through this uh, dialogue. Amparo, you'll be person A, <clears throat> and Andrea, you'll be person B. Please. Okay. Hey Casey, want to go to a movie tonight? Sorry, I can't uh, tonight. Why not? Are you working tonight? No, I have a date. How about tomorrow night? I'm sorry, I'm uh, busy tomorrow. Maybe another time. Okay. <clears throat> now this word here, um, Andrea, this word is busy. Busy. Okay, instead, yeah, busy. Okay, that U sounds like an busy, I. Busy. Don't ask me why. But that's how we pronounce the word. It's crazy, I know. Um, but yes, we say busy, okay? And and this means that you are you're occupied, okay? You're you're doing something, all right? Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, um, whenever we can't do something, all right, and it's kind of like uh, interrupting, okay? We want to use kind words, okay? Like sorry. Okay, what else can we say? What else can we say, class, if if we can't uh, do something with someone? They're being kind enough to ask you to go do something, okay, or um, ask for your help, okay, or whatever it may be, all right? What other words can we start this off with? They say here, they say, sorry, I can't. What else could we replace sorry with? I'm afraid. I'm afraid, good. Okay, I'm afraid. What else could we say? How about so sorry? So sorry. I, I can't I can't tonight. Okay, or I'm so sorry, I can't tonight. It's a pity. Okay. Uh, any other um, you could say uh, what a pity. What instead of it's <laughs> Yeah, okay. what a pity. Okay. Or you can also say, uh, another phrase would be, oh, that's a shame. Okay, that's a shame. I can't make it tonight. Or I can't tonight. All right. Now, usually when we use the word shame, it's because we've done something, we've done something wrong, right? And shame is when is when you kind of feel bad, right? So it's kind of it's kind of like um, um, it's it, you feel you feel bad because you're not going to be able to go. Okay, so you'd say that's a shame, that's a shame. I can't make it tonight. Okay, uh, you can also say what a shame, kind of like what a pity. Okay, 
Ah, Fabiano here in the chat box. He says, I'd love to, but I won't be able to make it. Yes, that's a good one. I'd love to, but. Okay. Uh, another, another phrase that we use a lot is, I would if I could, but I can't. All right. Would if, but I, I can't. Okay, it's really a phrase. It says a lot, but it also says nothing at the same time, <laughs> right? So I would if I could, but I can't. All right, meaning that if I had the opportunity uh, to be able to, all right, if if I was able to do this, okay, I would go, but unfortunately I can't. All right, I would if I could, but I can't. Okay, a really a really good phrase. Katya here says, "So sorry." Okay, I would like I would like to. We would need the word "to" there, but I can't go. Okay, I'd like to, but I can't. All right. So these are these are phrases that you can say when uh, um, when you are starting to make your excuse. Okay, uh, because when we sh sure. Yeah, sorry for the intervention. I'd sure, like to no ask problem. if I did something wrong. Can I? Yeah, can I say instead of sorry, I beg a pardon? Um. Yeah. Well, let's see. That's yes. That's if you do something wrong. I beg your pardon. Okay. Um. Or uh, I, I apologize. Okay. Um. But in this in this sense. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, I beg your pardon would not be synonymous with sorry. Okay, um, so if if uh, if someone was to ask you to go to the movies, okay, um, it would not be right to say I beg your pardon, but I can't. Okay, it wouldn't be right. I beg your pardon is like saying sorry or asking for forgiveness. All right, in uh, it, with something that is actually when you've done something wrong or when you are interrupting someone. Okay, because that's a that's sort of like doing something wrong too, right? Uh, but in this sense, we could not switch out sorry and uh, beg your pardon. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Sampato. Um, one of my favorite words. Bummer. Okay. All right. Very good, Nua. Yeah. So you could say uh, you could say bummer. I love that word. Okay. Bummer. I can't make it. I'm sorry. Right, bummer. Bummer would be a word for um, for your friends, okay? Things like that. It's um, it's uh, not a high high class or a high society word, okay? You wouldn't use that with your boss or whatnot, okay? You you could use what a shame or uh, whatever if you aren't going to be able to make it, okay? Definitely, you would not use bummer in business, okay? Um, because you want to be a little bit more professional, bummer would not would not be uh, professional. All right, it would be uh, a little bit more uh, street or ground level. Okay, when you're talking with with your friends, but uh, yeah, definitely, I use bummer all the time. Okay, bummer, I'm busy, I can't make it. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice uh, memory there, Ambato. Uh, very good. Okay, so. <clears throat> Okay. Um, now, if you are asking someone to go do something and they can't make it, it's okay to ask why. Okay, it's okay. You can say, "Oh man, why not?" or "Why? What's up?" Okay. Uh, you can say, "Why?" Uh, why not? Okay. Um, I and if it's with your friends, you can always say, "Why?" Comma. What's up? Okay, meaning what's going on. Okay, um, now you don't always have to guess what they're doing. You can just say say those words, and it and it would be fine. Okay, all right. Now, when uh, when we ask how about how about what uh, what are we referring to there, Andrea? What what do you think it means when we say how about? Why would we need to say uh, um, how about there? Or what about? Uh, I know the mail in Italian, but uh, I am not able to explain in English uh, 
How about? Uh, oh, sure, no uh, problem. How about? Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. How it, about? So it, you're you're almost adding extra information here. Okay, you're you're like saying and tomorrow night. Okay, like a question. What about uh, what about tomorrow? Uh, how about tomorrow? Okay, so here you can use okay. two uh, two different uh, beginnings. You can say uh, what? Okay, what about? Or how about? Okay, and in either of them would be okay. Personally, I would probably say, uh, "What about?" Okay, "What about tomorrow?" Okay, "How about tomorrow?" "What about tomorrow?" Okay, mm -hmm. uh, okay. same same type of thing. Okay, um, very good. And then, uh, all right, um, maybe another time. Okay, um, what uh, what do you think this is referring to, Amparo? Maybe another time. Maybe in, in another time it, it could be the the possibility to be together. Mm -hmm. together. Yeah, yeah. All all of what you said is encompassed in these three words. Okay, so maybe another time. Okay, uh, you can also say another time then. Forget it. I am not going to invite you. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we could say um, maybe another time or ah, another time then. Yeah. Okay. And that, in either way, saying maybe another time or another time then uh, mean the same thing. Just like Amparo was saying, um, let's uh, uh, in another occasion uh, we might be able to get together and uh, and spend time together. Okay. So that's what that that small phrase means. Okay, and uh, and it's and it's common common to say say something like that at the end. Okay, so if if you try a couple times and and the person is not able to help you or or go out and spend time with you, okay, it's common to say, oh oh well, maybe another time, or uh, oh well, another time then. Okay, uh, what I'm saying, is, oh well. Okay. Oh well. Another time then. Okay. Very good. Any any questions? Um, you could say um, you, you could say okay then, okay then. Uh, maybe another time. Okay. Okay. So saying it like that. Okay then. Uh, maybe another time. All right. Very good. All right. Any questions so far, you guys? Nope. Okay. Um, let's uh, now. Number two here is uh, basically the same thing. Okay, uh, but we're filling in the blanks, and uh, all the information is right up above. So uh, we're going to go to number three. Okay. So more excuses. All right, and uh, let's go to um, Beethoven. How are you, Beethoven? Yes, uh, teacher. Hello. Hi there, welcome to class. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? I'm doing very well. Uh, Beethoven, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Egypt. Um, and actually, Beethoven, it's not my real name. My real name is Omar. Omar, okay. Yes. All right, yes. hey, it's a much more, uh, much more common name than Beethoven. <laughs> yes. All right, yes. very, very good. Very good. Okay, okay. so o Omar from Egypt. All right, Omar, let me have you uh, practice with uh, Dua. And uh, Omar, I'll have, we're on exercise three. I will have you read person A, and Dua will read person B, please. Okay. Go ahead and start when you're ready. Okay. Hey, Jean, do you want to go out for dinner tonight? Sorry, I can't. I'm working. What about tomorrow? I'm studying for a test tomorrow. How about Friday? I'm free on Friday. Great. I'll see you on Friday. See you then. Awesome. Okay. So here um, we see someone asking, okay, asking someone to go do something. They can't that certain night or that particular night, but they give an option. Okay. 
how about Friday? We saw that here. Okay, but the other person was asking. Now, if you really want to go and do something with the person or help the person, okay, if you give them a, uh, an excuse like, I'm studying for a test tomorrow, um, how about Friday? Okay, now how else could we suggest another day or another time or another moment? Okay, what could we put here? Uh, what can we replace how about with? Class, what do you think? Would you how like? about if we started off? Uh, almost, almost. So how about if we started off with but? Okay, so we use the conjunction but and we say, I'm studying for a test tomorrow, but? Okay, what would we put after but to connect to Friday? I'm a free on Friday. Yes, good. I'm free on Friday. All right, how can you say I'm free? What's I'm another available? way to say I'm free? I'm available. Okay, good. Uh, I'm studying for a test tomorrow, but I'm free on Friday. But I'm available um, on Friday. Um, how about uh, any other ways? Any other ways of saying that you're free or that you are available? We can say, uh, I have nothing to do. Okay, yeah. So, but I have nothing to do on Friday. How about then, right? So, yes. I have... And yeah, so that's how we would say that. Um, uh, I'm studying for a test tomorrow, but I have nothing to do on Friday. How about then? Okay, something like that. That would work. Okay, any other suggestions? I am busy now, but it is possible on Friday. Uh, yeah, but it's possible on, on Friday. Good, yeah, possible. Okay, how about, but, do it. Okay, how about saying, uh, but I can do it on Okay, so I'm busy. I'm 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 busy tomorrow, but I can do it on Friday. All right. Now, what if we were talking about a certain time? Okay. So what if what if we were uh, if if uh, here in the uh, in this discussion or in this dialogue, um, instead of uh, dinner tonight, he says dinner at six. Okay, and let's say that you're busy at at six o'clock. Okay, but you're available at seven thirty. How how could we change this? Um, how could we change this? And we'll say I'm busy. Uh, I'm busy at six. How would we how would we change the rest of uh, of this phrase? Um, at that time, I will be busy. Yeah. Good. At that time, I'll be busy. Then what can you say to, um, uh, to finish that off and let them know when you are available? Mm -hmm. Okay. Say that. At that time, I am busy, but... Okay, now you're giving extra information that's opposite of being busy. busy. All right, but I'm okay. I'm free at okay instead of uh, on okay because we say uh, we use the preposition on for days okay, but at for time. But I'm free at seven thirty. Okay, so we took a situation. We took a situation where uh, we went from a day and we went to a time. All right, so let's say they were asking for uh, if you could go to dinner at 6 p.m. Say, ah, sorry, I can't. Uh, why? What, what's going on? Well, I, I'm busy at, uh, at uh, or at that time, let's use this here. At that time, I'm busy, 
but I'm free at 7 p.m. at. Okay, so we would use preposition at for time, on for days. Okay, so if someone wants you to go do something on a day, okay, we, we would then respond with a, on another day, or if you don't want to, just, you know, you can say that you're busy that day and there's no other option, okay? Um, if it's for a specific time, we use the preposition at. Okay? So at for time, on for days. Okay? Very good. Uh, let's take a look here. All right. Now, <clears throat> Uh, how about this phrase here? So uh, everything's good to go. Okay, they're they're going to see each other on on Friday. Okay, we've talked about I'm free. We've discussed uh, uh, other um, other phrases for I'm free or I'm available. Okay, now um, when you are uh, are kind of ready to to close the conversation, here they said, "Great, I'll see you on Friday." Okay, what can we replace? Great. I'll see you on with. Fantastic. Friday sounds good. Yes, fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Keeps muting me. Sorry. Uh, Friday sounds good. Okay, fantastic. Friday sounds good. What else could we say here, class? Um, okay, what other words I, I can hope, we replace? Uh, go ahead. I hope to see you. I hope to see you on Friday. Yeah. Um, instead of ho I hope, we can take off I, okay, and just say hope to see you. Okay. Now, the same thing, okay, same thing with this phrase here, you guys. We do not need to say I'll. Okay, you can say, see you on Friday. All right, you do not need to add I there. Okay. Okay, so uh, same thing with hope. Okay, uh, I hope to see you on Friday. Okay, take off I. Hope to see you on Friday. Okay. See you on Friday. Okay, either, either one of those works just fine. Okay, uh, so we have uh, great we've replaced with fantastic. What else can we replace great and fantastic with? Okay, if you are a, uh, uh, a teenager, <clears throat> okay, um, a teenagers in, in uh, the U.S., okay, uh, oftentimes say sweet. Okay, sweet. See you then. Okay, um, you could also say cool. All right. Um, uh, cool is a universal word. Okay, uh, for the younger generation. Also, uh, to use with your friends. Okay, it means a whole lot of different things. Okay, in this in this situation, uh, it's uh, it's uh, your you're saying that the situation sounds great. Okay, just like um, Amparo said, uh, fantastic. Friday sounds good. Okay, cool means that whole thing. Okay, say like, cool. All right, see you then. Okay, uh, so um, yeah, uh, great, fantastic, sweet, um, cool. Okay, we could also say super. Super. Yeah, Friday sounds good. Okay. Any any other phrases that uh, that we could replace uh, uh, replace this with, you guys? Any anything else that you can think of? Okay. Great. I'll see you on Friday. How about awesome? Awesome would be another word. Okay, we could use there. Awesome. 
Okay, well, see you on Friday. Uh, yes, wonderful. Wonderful works good. Okay, good. Now, we would not be able to use amazing. Okay, we couldn't, we couldn't uh, throw amazing in there. Amazing, I'll see you on Friday. Okay, now, if it was a time when, uh, when uh, um, you weren't able to uh, meet up with someone, let's say that, uh, yeah, Katya says perfect. That's another really good one. Okay, okay, perfect. That works very well. Um, so if, uh, if I was trying to meet up with a friend, okay, for a long time, okay, let's say um, we've been trying for, uh, for two weeks to have lunch together, but something comes up and I can't. Something comes up and he can't. All right, so something is always getting in the way. But finally, it happens and we're able to go out to lunch together and uh, talk about the, the old days. Okay, when it finally happens, we could say, amazing, amazing, we're, we're finally going to get together, okay, because it's, uh, it's surprising, this very, this thing happened, okay, amazing, all right, yeah, Friday sounds great, okay, that's a situation when we could use amazing, all right, uh, but in, uh, in regular, regular speech, okay, yeah, wonderful, perfect, super, cool, sweet, Fantastic, great. Okay, right. these are all Just, words that uh, express uh, yes. Can uh, we say perfect? Uh huh. Perfect. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All right. That's a that's a really good one as well. Okay. okay. Very good, you guys. Let's uh, let's see. Any uh, any other questions? Any other questions on this section? Okay, let's uh, let's scroll down. Okay, and we're going to work on some uh, sentence building. All right, what we're going to do is uh, I will have one of you read a, and the uh, next person to your or here on the screen uh, to the right would then answer B. Okay, your. Teacher, you're muted. All right, you guys, please don't mute me. Um, so, uh, yeah, so your your uh, your uh, helps, okay, your hints are over here on the on the side, okay. This is how you're going to answer. All right, um, you'll need to add words to it so you can uh, use the excuse, okay. So, for example. Um, Duod was our last person to read, so we'll start off with uh, Guillermo. Okay, so Guillermo will read. I'll have you read A, and Katya. Okay, Katya will read. Uh, will answer B, and Katya, you'll you'll use uh, this as a hint or a guide for your answer. Okay, then when you're done, Katya will then read A, and the next person to her right, Laszlo, will answer B. Okay, so that's our pattern. We're going to switch off like that. Okay, so Guillermo and Katya, let, let me have you do number one. Okay, go okay. ahead. Okay, Katya, are you coming to the meeting tonight? Uh, sorry, ha, have you heard me? Uh, Katya? Katya? Katya, is your microphone working? Okay, make sure that you are not muted. Uh, let me, uh, let's, uh, let's go to uh, Laszlo uh, for right now, and I'll have uh, Katya uh, work on your mic because we cannot hear you still, okay? So, uh, Guillermo, let me have you read that one more time, and Laszlo, you'll, you will answer, okay? Okay. Uh, Laszlo, are you going to come to the meeting tonight? Uh, sorry, I can't make it. All right, very good. Last so, uh, read A on number two, and Stephen will answer B. Uh, Stephen, why aren't you coming to the party? I'm um, sorry, I, I am working at that time. All right, very good. All right, Stephen, uh, read A on three, and uh, Amparo, answer B. Okay. Um, Amparo. 
you are meeting us for lunch, right? No, sorry, I don't have money. Okay, very good. Okay, Amparo, number four. And, Not today, huh? Uh, Andrea, Andrea, you'll be answering B. Not today, huh? How about tomorrow? Andrea. Nope. Yeah, I knew I knew it wasn't listening. Andrea. Andrea is here. <laughs> uh. Okay, so uh, you're going uh. to be answering answering B on number four, Andrea. Uh, mm, sorry, I'm too busy. Okay. All right. Very good. Yes. And uh, yep, that's good. Yeah. Sorry, I'm too busy. All right, Andrea, let me have you read A on number five. And let's see, Omar, I'll have you answer B on number five, please. Okay. You are late. Uh, where were you? Uh, sorry, I've missed the bus. There you go. Okay, I missed the bus. That's a that's a common one. Uh, very good, um, Omar. Um, I I will have you answer. Okay, reading B. Okay. And Guillermo, you will need to ask a question. Okay, yeah. that uh, will need to be answered by B. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Omar, would you like to go with me to the cinema to tomorrow? Uh, teacher, I can't understand. I, I you want me to answer number six? Uh, yes, you're gonna read B. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Omar, um, uh, would you like to go to the country the next week with me? Uh, sorry, I'm going on vacation. All right, very good. Okay, let's go to. Uh, Katya, is your microphone working yet? Uh, nope. Okay. okay, let's go to Laszlo. Laszlo, you will um, uh, formulate a question. Okay, so create a question for uh, A on 7. And Guillermo will answer B. Oh, uh, why don't you... Why don't you go... Uh, to the party. Uh, sorry, I can. I have to work. Okay. Now, last though, we would say, why aren't you going to why the party? Why aren't you going? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you going to the party? Okay. okay. Thank you. Good, good. Uh, let's go to Laszlo and Stephen. Uh, Stephen, you'll need to create a question on eight. And Laszlo will answer B. Okay. Mm. Okay, is there a same question? Uh, almost, because look, look, we have okay. a uh, um, a time here. Okay, I don't get for four until eighteen. Uh, so, um. Mm. Would you meeting? Uh, uh, would you? Uh, would you meet us for lunch? Uh, at six at eight p.m. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. instead of lunch, you would probably say dinner. Okay. Oh okay. yes. Sorry. All right. So okay, dinner. Would you meet Okay, could you uh, uh, could you meet us for dinner uh, at six p.m.? Okay, good. All right, yeah. and last though, please read that. Uh, no, I can make it. I don't get off work until eight p.m. Okay, very good. Okay, Amparo, uh, A on number nine, and Stephen, you'll read B on number nine. Okay. Um, are you going to go with, uh, to the concert with us? Mm, 
I can afford to go. I don't get paid until Friday. All right, excellent. And um, Andrea, I'll have you uh, come up with a question or create a question for uh, 10A, and Amparo will read B. Uh, why don't we go to the cinema? Um, hold on, hold on. Okay, so um, here, almost. Okay, uh, instead of saying it's why don't past. we go, mm -hmm. it happened in the past. Mm -hmm. Why didn't? Okay, so why don't? How about why didn't you go? Why didn't you go? Why yeah, so you? why didn't you go to the cinema? Let me have you uh, try that one more time. Why didn't you go to the... Ah, dang it. I'm speaking in Spanish again. Cinema. Sorry. <laughs> okay, or uh, switch uh, cinema for... Okay, why didn't you go to the movies? Okay, try that, Andrea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, what can we do? Um, I, I want you to uh, repeat that question, okay? Because you had originally asked it in present tense, okay? But we need to uh, ask ask um, why the person didn't do something in the past, okay? So we would say, why didn't you go to the? Mm, why didn't uh, you go to the cinema? I apologize. I forgot all about it. Okay, good. Mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, excellent. You guys, very good. Any uh, any uh, questions here about uh, about this this page that we went through? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's scroll down to to five. Okay, and uh, so uh, we're going to go over some frequently used excuses okay and this is a uh, using two okay so uh, we're going to match them up with the pictures that we see here all right um, starting with Guillermo uh, Guillermo uh, number one okay uh, please read this phrase and yeah. uh, tell me which one this matches with uh, I'm too tired uh, I think match with the F F. Yeah, F. Right here, F. Too tired. I'm sleepy. It's too okay. tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Katya? Nope, still not yet. Okay. Uh, check your settings, Katya. Um, that, that, uh, that may be able to help you, okay? Um, or, uh, let's see. There's there's two places you can go. Okay, if you look here on on the screen, you see my mouse. Come up here. If this is red, like that, that means that I can't hear you. Also, check your settings right here. Okay, and you can select your your microphone. Okay, that you're going to use. Okay, and your your headphones. Okay, save your settings. Okay, those are the only two things that I know of that you can do, all right? Uh, so let's go to Laszlo, number two. Laszlo, go ahead and read that. Number two, I am too full. Uh, A. Yeah, I'm too full, okay? Would you, like, uh, would you like some more cake? Oh, no, I'm too full. I had uh, way too many pupusas, all right? Very good. Let's go to number what, three. What did you say? Way too many pup pupusas. Yeah, I'm still thinking about last night. My wife made pupusas for me. It was delicious. Pupusa is uh -huh. is um, a, a, a meat from the country of your of your wife or yeah, it's a it's a food it's a food from uh, um, El Salvador and Honduras. They make ah, them in uh, Guatemala as well. I see. Ah, okay. okay. So I had I had too much food, too much food. Okay, uh, let's go to number three. This is for Stephen. 
Okay. It's to call out uh, the letter C. Yeah, see, you can see that he's shivering. It's way too cold. Okay, Amparo, number four, please. I have too much to do. Uh, letter E. Okay, yeah, he looks very, uh, very worried. Okay, hopefully his uh, cup of Coffee joe stuff. here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll help him get through it, right? Yes. Uh, very good. Um, Andrea, uh, number five, please. I'm too old. Uh, D. Okay, D. Yep, too old. You want to go on the roller coaster ride, Grandpa? No, Sonny, I'm too old. All right. Uh, let's go to number six. This is for Guillermo. I'm too scared. Is the B. Okay, B. B. All right, same thing. You want to go on the roller coaster ride? No way, I'm too scared. Too scared. All right. Very good. Okay, you guys. Um, let's uh, let's scroll down and we'll take a look here at number seven, and this will be our last exercise um, for the class. Let's see here. All right. Okay, you guys. So. <clears throat> We're going to be uh, uh, matching, uh, matching these up, where you guys can, you know, choose any one of these. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we're going to be um, uh, practicing, okay, answering questions, okay, and this is almost like what I was saying before. Uh, I would if I could, but I can't. All right, this is sort of the same same phrase. I wish I could, but. Okay. Now I'll have uh, I'll have one of you guys ask the question, and then you can choose any one of these responses. Okay, or you can choose the one right across. It doesn't matter. Okay, um, to uh, um, to uh, to answer the question, but you need to use "I wish I could," but. All right. So let's go to. Um, let's see. Katya, did you get your mic working? Uh, it's a bummer. Uh, hope, hopefully, you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, Laszlo, uh, Laszlo, okay. let's uh, let's go to you and Stephen. Okay, and we'll take a look uh, at this one right here because they already answered this first one. Okay, so uh, Laszlo, uh, ask. Oh, is that Katya? Katya, you made it. I hear you. Hello, Katya, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Very good. Let, let me have you uh, um, practice with us, okay? Okay. So, Katya, I will have you read um, read A, okay, right here. Okay. And mm -hmm. Laszlo, your job is to use, I wish I could, but, and then uh, we'll just have you use this one right across, okay? Uh, go ahead, you guys. Uh, please read. Okay. Hi, Alex. Are you going to help me move tomorrow? Uh, I wish I could, but I'm going out of town. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, let's go to uh, Laszlo. Uh, Laszlo, read A here. Okay. okay. And uh, Stephen, uh, answer using B right here and using I wish I could, but. Okay. Go ahead, you guys. Uh, you are coming to my birthday party, right? Um, I wish I, I wish I could, but I have to study for the test or for right. exam. Yeah, you can say test. We normally say test instead of exam. Okay. okay. Um, Stephen, uh, let me have you uh, read A, and Amparo will answer using "I wish I could." But in uh, in this sort of response, okay. Okay. Red. Okay. <clears throat> uh, are you going to join us for dinner tonight? I wish I could, but um, I have to go to my daughter's soccer practice. Good. Yeah, I have to. I have to go to my daughter's soccer practice. Amparo, please read A and Andrea. Uh, answer using "I wish I could," but in this answer here. I'm driving today. Do you want to ride? 
uh, uh, I stay late and uh, finish a project. Okay, uh, we would you would need to say I wish I could. Okay, I wish I could. Uh, sorry. But, uh -huh. I wish all that uh, uh, I'm state and finish a project. Okay, now uh, when we when we use this phrase, you guys. Okay, I wish I could, but um, we would say I'm, and then we would use the gerund form of the verb. Okay, but I'm staying late. Okay, and finishing a project, or staying late to finish a project. Okay, so that's how we would say that. We would use the gerund form. Okay, uh, Andrea, let me have you read A here. Okay, and mm -hmm. um, Guillermo, I'll have you answer uh, answer B using "I wish I could," but I have an extra concert ticket. Do you want to come? Uh, oh, I wish I could, but I don't. But I don't get paid until next week. Okay, very good. Yep. So uh, when we use "don't," okay, we would not use the gerund form here. Okay, if we don't have a uh, verb, okay, and we're not using "I am," okay, we say "I don't get paid." Okay, no, no, no need to use the gerund. Um, Guillermo, read A. And uh, Katya, Katya, yes. um, answer using uh, I wish I could, but, and dentist appointment, please. Okay. Uh, Katya, do you want to watch the football game at my place? I wish I could, but I have a dentist appointment. Very good. Yes, you can say I have, or you can say I'm going to. Okay. okay, going to a dentist appointment or I have a dentist appointment. Either okay. one is just fine. Okay? Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you, guys. Very, very good work. Katya, I'm glad you were able to uh, join us at the at the tail end there. It was nice. All right. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my, uh, my next class, you guys, uh, has to do with um, bullying. Okay. Okay. Um, and we'll be talking about uh, bullying being a major problem in schools uh, and uh, the problems that uh, that they cause. Um, and uh, this will be a, a another speaking class. We'll take a look at some vocabulary words and uh, speak our mind about it. So if that class is interest interesting to you, I do have I think three spots left. Okay. Very good. Thank you guys. We'll see ya. Bye. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Chad.